Whoa! First episode of the new class. Who's ready to anchor? Oh. Good morning, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. I'm your host, Kinsley Rolf. The new HHS TV class is excited to be here and happy to have you watching. Let's begin by recognizing our January Student of the Month, Davin Evans. Welcome to Ms. Gleason's office where the big decision of Student of the Month is made. Ms. Gleason, would you like to tell us more about this Student of the Month? Sure. So the January Student of the Month winner is Davin Evans and we had a very awesome pool of students that were nominated this month. And it was a difficult decision, but Davin came out on top. And so some of the comments that his teachers said about him in their nominations, he actually had two, um, were the following. Um, he works incredibly hard. He advocates for what he needs. Um, he perseveres through difficult situations. He's kind, he's compassionate, he's a model student, um, and he has a strong work ethic and he's extremely respectful. And the last comment that one of his teachers wrote is that Davin not only rises to the challenge, he conquers it. Congratulations, Davin. Now, let's hear a little bit about Davin. Davin, you recently got the January Student of the Month. What was your reaction to getting this? I was uh, very surprised. I was happy. It's a big accomplishment, and I think it'll look good towards college, so I'm really happy about it. What do you think you did during the month of January that caused you to get Student of the Month? Well, for midterms, I stayed after with my teachers. I studied hard, and I put in a lot of work, and I behaved in class and treated my teachers with respect. Congratulations, Davin. And that was a fine segment as well. You produced it. Your point? Anyways, moving on. Here's some news. Tonight is college admission night for juniors at 7 p.m. And while we're on this topic, let's talk college with Miss Greco. Hi, we're here with Mrs. Greco to talk about college. Um, when do you think students should start thinking about where they want to go to college? I think normally it's around junior year when students start thinking about it. Um, that said, though, sophomores seem to me start worrying around it about its second semester of sophomore year and I think it's because they're not sure what they should be doing so it's really important for sophomores to know that the most important thing you should be doing is um, doing well in school and just focus on school but if you're going to visit any colleges for like a tournament or a championship just pay attention to the surroundings and kind of check out you start to figure out the more college campuses you're on you start to figure out um, what you kind of prefer in a college. Thanks, Ms. Greco. If you have any college stories to share, let us know. Now let's get to the question of the day. Today we're asking, what was your weirdest dream? David, what is the strangest dream you've ever had? Uh, Sappy, the strangest dream I've ever had was probably, I was falling off a cliff and I woke up and I was on the floor in my bed. Wow. Maxwell, uh, what is the strangest dream you've ever had? Uh, making the 42 All-Star Team. Link, what's the craziest dream you've ever had? Um, when I was led in the Super Bowl by C.K. Brady. Yeah, uh, me and Linkwist have the same dreams, um, and we're always in each other's dreams. What's the uh, craziest dream you've ever had? I was being chased down a hallway by a tiger, and then he morphed into Jack Black, the actor, and then I had to hide in a vending machine. I dreamt that there was a grandma on a motorcycle chasing me. What is the strangest dream you've ever had? The strangest dream I ever had was there was a shadow man living in my house. What is the strangest dream you've ever had? That I was on the question of the day. I was supposed to ski down a mountain, but I ended up running down instead. Interesting. Now it's reminder time. Tomorrow is heart screening day. Ew, stop that. Mass Harpy is coming to HHS for an optional screening that can help detect heart issues. You'll need a signed consent form, so look for a table at lunch and $35. Lastly, it's time for Have You Seen This? We run these every other episode now, so check out last week's episode for the current photo and good luck. Want more HHS Today? Visit our webpage at hhs.today to see extra web-only content, like bloopers, because bloopers. Also, we encourage you to take a brief survey to tell us what you want to see on our show at hcam.tv slash survey. A few respondents might just receive a prize, for example, Beth Kohler. Thanks for completing the survey. 
we'll be in touch for your prize. Everybody else, you know what to do. And with that, we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. All right.